have a mathematics question that says the midpoint of PQ is this one here. If the coordinates of P are this one, find the coordinates of Q, okay? We need to understand that the actual meaning here it is this one. Let's assume that we have a line here. This is P. This is Q here. And they say the midpoint simply means here. So here, that's where the coordinates are for this one. Now again, they have said P, the coordinates are what here at this one. So the question here wants us to find the coordinates of Q, meaning the coordinates which, which are here. This is this coordinates we have, which are these ones. For P, we have which is this one. They want us to find this coordinate here, okay? Now for you to find this coordinate, you need to use the formula for midpoint for each coordinate. So I'm going to start with X. So for the midpoint for X, we're going to say X it is equal to X1 plus X2 over what over 2. This X simply means the midpoint. What is the midpoint here for, for the value of X? It is 2. So here you put a 2 equal to. What is the value for X1? X1 it is negative 1. They say negative 1 plus what? So how about X2? Which is here we don't know. So we just leave it as this over what? Over this 2 here. Okay? From there now we have to cross multiply. It will be 2 times 2 which will give me 4 equal to negative 1 plus what? X2. So it will be now X2 x2 equal to when this negative 1 comes this side it will give me what is 5 so the value for x here it is what is 5 how about the value for y okay so it will be again y equal to y1 plus what y2 over what over 2 so this side simply means the midpoint for y value which is 3 so here you put a 3 equal to what is y1? y1 it is 4. So you put a 4 there. So plus y2 which is here we don't know. So you just have to leave it like that. Over what? Over 2. So now I'm going to say 2 times 3 is going to give me 6. So you say 6 equal to what? 4 plus y2. Now this y2 will come down like this equal to when this 4 comes this side going to be 6 minus 4 which will give me a 2 so now the final answer should be like this so you get the, the value for x it is 5 the one for y it is 2 so this is the answer